with today's video. I just wanted to update you on a contest that I'm having with Shop My Style and Every Sale. If you watched my closet organization video, you know that I talked about this app that has a new feature called Shop My Style, and it's basically where you make your profile and then everything that you're browsing through the app just on your favorite stores it gets updated to your boutique storefront. It's a great way to make money. It's basically like affiliate links. So anyone that goes to your boutique and buys those items, you'll get a percentage. So it's just a great way to make some extra coins. So I'm holding a contest with them with a cash prize of $100. All you have to do is make a profile and then share with me your profile down below. Top comment will win. So you can share it with your friends, your family, tell them to thumbs up your comment on the video with your username and I will be choosing a winner. So if you have not made your Shop My Style profile, you just need to download the Every Sale app, which I'll put the link to download it down below, but it's free to download. It's just so easy to set up. Then you just start browsing and shopping through the app and it gets updated automatically. So I will link mine down below just so you can see what it looks like. So good luck. Again, whoever gets the top comment will win. So tell your friends to thumbs up your comment. And once again, I will put the link to download down below. Good morning, you guys. It's one of those mornings where I've just been drinking my little coffee and editing for multiple hours. I am going to eat my little breakfast. I want to do some yoga. So I'm going to eat one of my little egg custards with a maple syrup and strawberry. I showed how to make these in one of my past vlogs, but I did kind of overcook these. I'm so sorry to myself, but it's like cute. That's cinnamon, by the way. I'm just going to eat my fruit and my little thing. Be cute. I have a hefty day of content. But yeah, I've really been enjoying the vlogging. I feel like it gives me purpose in my life. I'm gonna keep doing it. So here's what it looks like. Again, I really overcooked it probably by like 10 minutes. I think the heat was too high, but I mean, it still tastes good. It's just like not really that creamy texture that it's supposed to be, but whatever. Yes. Boom. So in this, there's four different types of greens. There's a romaine, kale, arugula, and then another one that I'm not really sure what it is. Carrots, kalamata olives, avocado, cherry tomatoes, and carrot, and olive oil, balsamic, and then some just like all-purpose seasoning. Then I also ate a couple bowls of my soup, which was really good. So I've just been editing and doing emails. The usual. I feel like people don't actually know like what it is I do. That's a topic for another day though. Today I wanted to just kind of show you guys some of the stretches that I do. As you guys know I have been doing a lot of yoga recently and just following yoga videos and yoga flows. I already feel a difference. More awareness you know when I'm sitting at the table sitting editing or even just standing walking around just with my posture and having alignment in my spine and my neck and everything. I think especially because I film myself so often and I have to see myself standing or sitting, I just always notice my posture and oh, it's just I hate when I see myself with bad posture. So that's been amazing and I'm just really excited to continue on with, I guess you could say this yoga journey that I've been on. But I just wanted to show you guys a few of the stretches that I do and that I have been doing, you know, even before all of this. I like to do this after I work out, after a leg day, and I'm sure if you're familiar at all you will know some of these already and maybe already do them yourself, but I just wanted to show you guys. Usually what gets the most sore for me is my hamstrings. So the first one I always seem to really do is just this. So I'll do this on each side and this just feels so good. Bring this up and stretch this quad, you know, hurts really good, amazing. This one is also really good if you sit down a lot, which I feel like I do. Like even though I am active in the sense that I work out, sometimes I'll go on a walk and whatnot, I am sitting most of the day, am I? I guess it's relative. And then another one that I usually will go into after this is just stretching the hips. We are gonna put this leg out at more of a 90 degree angle and same with that one. When you join a gym, sometimes they give you like a session with a personal trainer for free and this is one of the stretches the guy told me to do the pain that feels really good then if you're like me i feel like i definitely get sore in my back from working out but also we hold a lot of stress in our shoulders and neck and kind of like that upper back area so not to like you know bust it open real quick but this feels so good i feel like dude it sucks though because i feel like Part of the reason I wouldn't really stretch 
is because I didn't want guys to look at me in the gym. <laughs> Leave me alone. Like, I'm literally stretching. So I just, like, wouldn't stretch. And then I'd be like, oh, I'll stretch when I get home. And then by the time I was home, I just wanted to shower and, like, eat. So I guess with that being said, I'm grateful for this time I have. This honestly just feels so good on my back. Bust it open at the gym, you know? Shout out to everyone that did, like, dance or gymnastics as a kid. I did not. I'm not like super unflexible, but I'm not like, like I can't do the splits, but I don't really practice. That should be my next challenge or like goal to do the splits. It just helps your life so much. And again, like it's crazy just with doing all this yoga I've been doing, how much it, I guess, incorporates into the rest of your life, the rest of your day. I just kind of noticed the placement of everything in my body a lot more and like where my neck is and how I'm like sitting or standing or walking then another really good one especially after a leg day is just this it feels so good on like your lower back and like i guess your inner thighs another favorite is this and then you know bring it to the side bring it to the other side look away it just feels so good and obviously this is not like a yoga tutorial but focusing on your breath during this and breathing into wherever you have soreness or pain it's just yeah it's stuff you know you should do i mean i'm really honestly talking for myself maybe you've been doing this but and it's like oh i'll get to that i'll get to that and now i have all the time in the world to do this no creepy guys looking at me yeah it's just wow really makes a difference you know we work out we put the stress on our bodies and it's very i'm gonna use the word loud but it's not like i mean loud as far as volume it's stress on your body you know i'm listening to aggressive music trying to you know pick up these weights push myself and that's all great and dandy and has its own benefits but i think incorporating the balance of the quiet you know quiet quieting your mind and then also just being gentle with your body kind to it and allowing it to fully recover I guess just so important so we need all of it yeah there's definitely more stretches that I'll do depending on how I feel and again recently I've just been super into doing yoga videos and yoga flows there's so many on YouTube so even if you're not someone who works out a lot you might be someone who sits at a desk who has to work on the computer who is sitting and whatnot so even just doing that a little bit I feel cute kind of played myself because I didn't really get snacks I really want to make a pasta tonight. I have all this basil and I was gonna make pesto but like I kind of made it one night. I didn't have pine nuts though and I feel like I just love pesto with pine nuts. But I found this recipe for a like cherry or grape tomato garlic basil pasta that was just very simple. I had to move this way because of the lighting but I just found out that tomorrow May 21st the sun officially goes into Gemini so we are going from Taurus to Gemini season. Air sign season so Gemini season, Libra season, Aquarius season. I think they're always really fun and I feel like you know air signs are just known for being very I guess you would say social or into a lot of different things, particularly Gemini's. You know, we're just like going from thing to thing, like have fun. I don't think I have any air in my chart, so I can't really relate. Gemini's definitely get a lot of hate. I get it, but I also, okay, there's a lot of pros as well. The symbol for Gemini is twins. You're two-faced, you know, you have two personalities. So while that can mean that someone is maybe more prone to lying or... <laughs> being a scammer in whatever way it can also just mean that gemini's are usually very into a lot of different things they're usually just down to try anything like down for new things interested in just a lot of different things social talkative like very talkative a lot of people that are popping on twitter are gemini's and you just have to think like being social communicating their planet is mercury which is the planet of communication so just talking 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 but i will say that my experience with gemini's is definitely like as a leo it's like i fuck with the gemini at first but then it's like we take loyalty very seriously so when the gemini goes to their other personality it's like i'm like why did you switch up on me i can think of a couple of gemini guys that i have spent time with who's always like they were very i don't know if manipulative would be the word because it's not necessarily that like dark manipulation it's more so like you know they're talking to a lot of different girls they like variety and again, these are just generalizations. Everyone's different. But yeah, like I've had Gemini's just lie about random stuff. It's like 
you're literally just lying to lie like there's no purpose behind this so those are just kind of some of the negatives and again very stereotypical if you're a gemini i don't mean to offend but that's just like the stereotypes but other than that you know very fun so this is definitely a season of just almost embracing the fun embracing your interests being into a lot of different things being social which obviously you know we're social distancing but we can still just you know tweet i always really like air sign seasons because it's just kind of a good i like all seasons honestly every season every sign has its pros but it's just kind of a fun like antique time before we get into cancer season and we're all fucking depressed i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah let me know if you're a gemini or if you know anyone that's a gemini what has your experience been how does it feel to be a gemini if you are one again i don't have any air on my chart so i like cannot relate <laughs> So I have just been watching, <laughs> well, I was watching this one guy's videos and he basically just does all these hikes and films them super cool. So it's just kind of relaxing, like almost ASMR nature vibes like all around the world. Then I started watching Mount Everest videos, people who have like done it, all the craziness that's occurred. And now I'm just watching some wholesome National Geographic. I think it's so fascinating to me because it's like something that I am just so not interested in i've said this before but i am just someone who i just like to chill oh the accomplishment like i could understand why someone would want to do that like climb mount everest or something but it's just not me like i have no desire to jump out of an airplane i just don't crave that so i think this is so fascinating to me because it's like why would you do that not why like i get why but it's just like i can't relate anyway drinking my sleepy time lavender tea then i'm gonna wash my face and go to bed but it is nice to watch these nature videos and they're just very calming i went on a walk earlier and honestly it was so good there was just not that many people out it was the perfect temperature outside i was listening to my music it just felt so good so yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog here but thank you guys so much for watching again let me know if you want more vlogs like this follow me subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video